Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of the Mandingo people and their cultural practices. Mandingo is a West African tribe that is also known as Mandinka, Malinke, Maninka, or Manding. The Mandingos have a direct link with the ancient Central Saharan lineage and are Africa's most prominent ethno-linguistic group. They occupy various locations such as Sierra Leone, Liberia, Burkina Faso, Mali, Senegal, Mauritania, Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Chad, Niger, with a total population of over 11 million people. The Mandingo people are a branch of the Mande ethnic group which encompasses a number of other ethno-lingual communities such as Bozo, Pele, Libi, and Bambara. They speak Mandinka Kango from the Niger-Congo family of languages. The Mandingo people are descendants of the inhabitants of the Mali Empire. However, some claim that they are actually the original inhabitants of the legendary ancient city of Genegeno, which dates as far back as the 3rd century BC. Because they desired territorial expansion and more arable land, they migrated to the Senegambia region where the Mali Empire was established. The Mandingo culture is rich in ritual and music. They have an age-long oral tradition in which they tell stories, proverbs, and teach songs through griots. They particularly pass down oral history through music, and this has made music one of the most distinctive components of their culture. The Mandingo are popular for their drumming and kora, their unique musical instrument. The kora is a 21-stringed instrument made out of a halved, dried gourd covered with cow or goat skin. Its strings are made of fishing line. They play the kora to traditional songs with the intention to accompany a deceased into the place of rest. Most Mandinka live in family-related compounds in traditional rural villages. These autonomous Mandinka villages are led by a council of upper-class elders and chiefs. In Mandinka communities, family members plan weddings for prospective spouses. The suitor's family sends bitter nuts and cola nuts to the male elders in the intended bride's family. Acceptance of the gift triggers the beginning of courtship. A Mandingo man can have up to four wives as long as he is capable of caring for them equally. The first wife in Mandingo homes has authority over other wives while the husband is in control of the entire home. The Mandingo believe that the crowning glory of any woman is her ability to birth children, particularly sons. Mandingo children are named on the seventh day after birth, usually after a prominent family member. Transitioning the children into adulthood usually happens between ages 4 and 14 when children, notwithstanding their sex, are subjected to the ritual cutting of the genitalia. The boys remain in the bush for 3 and 4 weeks after this practice. The children who pass through the ritual together usually form a lifelong bond. It is at this time that the children learn acceptable behavior patterns and adult social responsibilities. They also learn secret songs about being Mandinka. Such songs teach them how to relate with people of the opposite sex, including their parents, siblings, and other members of their family, as well as their spouses, peers, and elders. Other members of the community wait eagerly for the return of the initiates and welcome them greatly when they arrive as they get recognized as adults. 
they are better respected and even enjoy privileges such as new clothes, among others. They are also honored with celebrations. The Mandingo tradition requires a woman to remain faithful to her parents and family even when she is married. A number of people in the Mandinka population practice a mix of Islam and animism. Very few Mandinkas have converted to Christianity. The major occupation of the Mandinka is rural subsistence farming. They produce groundnuts, millet and rice. During the raining season, men plant peanut as their main cash crop. Peanuts are also a staple of the Mandinka diet. Some other men also plant millet and corn, mostly for family consumption, while women work in the rice fields and tend the plants by hand. Although farming is their traditional profession, some men work as taxi drivers, woodworkers, butchers, soldiers, nurses, metal workers, and tailors. Most of the women stay at home as wives and mothers. The Mandingo population remains one that is proud of its culture and tries as much as possible to uphold its values despite global changes that have caused various populations of the world to lose integral parts of their culture. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.